In this video, I'm going to be showing you the five tools you need to model anything in Blender. These are the only tools you need to model complex or basic shapes in Blender. And guys can see, we have a pillar that I modeled only using the five um, tools that are most important tools in Blender. So let's quickly model this. Let's do Shift A and we're going to add in a circle. We're going to quickly scale this down, okay? So the first tool that you need is the fill tool. So let's tap into edit mode and we're going to go into vertex select mode. The first tool that you need is the fill. So we're going to press F to fill anything. So let's really move this up. You can fill in any edges that are not filled up using the F tool. Okay. That is super, super, super useful. Now the second most second tool that is mostly used is the extrude tool, extrude tool. And the third one is the inset tool, extrude and inset. They're used um, side by side together. So we're going to do E to extrude it. And then we're going to do I to inset it. E to extrude it. I to inset it. And then as you can see, we're going to create this cool little um, design. Like something like that. Okay. Now we did that. We can just do E to extrude it out like a big pillar. And then we're going to quickly do the same thing up here. So we're going to do E and then S to scale it out to do the inverse effect. Then E to extrude it and then something like this. Maybe let's add and set it back. I'm going to create some unique design. Um, e and then S. E to extrude and something like this should be cool. Now the fourth tool that I want to talk about is the bevel tool. As we can see, we have a very, very, very sharp edges. Looking at this, the edges are quite smooth. As you can probably notice, they are super, super, super smooth. So we're going to quickly bevel this to make it a bit more, not more sharp. I want the edges not to be sharp. So I'm going to do Control B. And we can see that we can edit how many edges we want to add. So let's just add four or three. And you can see it create a smooth edge right over here. Let's do Alt Select. Alt -select this edge loop and then let's quickly do this as you can see it's moving it out it makes it go from a weird looking sharp low poly object to a more dynamic and advanced object okay let's quickly go over here now, as we can see we're gonna have to do um we have to do it over here that one's this one's like that right here oh select this loop over here and alt to the loop over here as well and then control b so as we can see we quickly um made these sharp edits go be a bit more smoother to add that extra effect now lastly the tool i want to talk about in this video is the loop cut tool so i'm going to go into edit mode and to add a loop cut we can do control r and as we will notice we're going to get a loop cut so i'm quickly have to go into edit mode in this case and without setting anything, we'll do Control R, and we can do left click, and then we can move it around. And I'm going to move it around right here. Then let's add another one, Control R. And if it comes, where is our loop over here? Right here. And then we're going to go into face select mode, and Alt select this face. We can do E to extrude it, and then S to scale it out. And we can do I to inset, E S to scale it out, and we can create this little effect something like this and we can also just bevel this as we can see these are the tools the only tools you need to create these complex shapes and then like this and obviously without a modifier without a subdivision surface modifier would look rubbish just add a subdivision surface modifier to this and as we can see we literally created a little super cool complex pillar by just using five tools in blender as you probably guys know there are so many tools in Blender, but I believe that these five tools are the best to model anything in Blender. So I hope you guys enjoyed this short video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.